Hello friends, it's Sammy from SammyCone.com. I just realized I've got, <laughs> I was going to do it on my computer and it wasn't working. So, hi again, it's Sammy. It is Friday, July 11th, 2014, back with another episode of The Daily Dash. That's right, it's everything you need to know from around the world and in my office, from my dashboard to yours. I'm not in the car again this morning. Summer's just throwing us all for a loop. So, I am going to be going out later. Actually, if you're here in Nashville, we are so excited. I've been wanting to go to a Nashville Sounds game for a while. And not only do I get to go tonight, it is a Fish Family Faith Night that's presented by uh, Trebekah Nazarene University. Love and the Outcome is playing, who was on Winter Jam with Plum and uh, all of our friends there. And I get to help announce them. Uh, as part of the fish family. So come on out to see me and Love and the Outcome and of course the Nashville Sounds tonight. Uh, concerts at 6.05, game is at 7.05. So that's sure to be fun and you never know what I will do when it's live. So that's amusing. Um, since we're talking about my life again, got to FaceTime with the kiddos last night. So much fun. Oh, want to hug them, but so excited. They're having so much fun in Florida. I just had some uh, meetings for Faith Gateway and Tommy Nelson, such great resources coming out for your family this summer. So make sure to check out TommyNelson.com and FaithGateway.com. I've got a post today that you can find on all of them, including SammyCone.com, about our family's uh, special nighttime ritual and the prayer that we've been praying over our kids since they were born. So make sure you check that out. Um, that's pretty much it for me, but in, around the world, lots going on. Seems like there's really devastating storms that happened all over the country yesterday. Um, fires out west, devastating storms in the mid-Atlantic. Uh, no confirmed tornadoes, but damage that would insinuate there was a tornado. Um, the gunman in the Houston suburb shooting that um, shot what turned out to be the sister of his ex-wife and her, almost her entire family, the only of their five children that survived was a 15-year-old. Um, who's being hailed as a hero today for a calling 911. Um, he had his first court appearance, so still just such a senseless act, so sad. Um, I told you Emmy, Emmy nominations were out yesterday. Uh, LeBron James, today is his decision day of, we're pretty sure he's either gonna, we, like LeBron and I are close, right? He's either gonna stay in Miami or go back to Cleveland, his hometown. Um, big news about George Clooney, um, shooting down some stories from the Daily Mail, just calling it the worst tabloid that there is. And I feel like there was something else. Oh, Bo Bergdahl is, uh, you remember about four weeks ago, he was a um, prisoner of war that was um, exchanged for five other Taliban officers at, at Guantanamo Bay. He's supposed to be in his final stage of re-entry, if that's the right word. There was some controversy over a Twitter picture that was released of him with one of his captors because he was smiling. I mean, come on, I can't imagine you've got too much choice in what you're doing when you're being held captive. So that should catch you up. I know it's going to be devastating to be without me for the weekend, but just, just follow me on Instagram and Twitter, the Sammy Cohn. Um, I will keep chatting at you, of course. Um, and we had a great counseling session yesterday, too. I didn't get to mention that. Really good counseling session yesterday. Um, so continuing to stay positive, stay focused. And yeah, just do what we're created to do. So I'm going to go make it a great day. Make sure that you make it great wherever you are and have a great weekend too. Bye.